American settlement in the Philippines began during the Spanish period, when Americans came to the islands primarily to conduct business. They owned many businesses in trade and in the sugar industry. Although not harassed by Spanish laws, the American inflow to the Philippines was minimal until the Philippine-American War. Following the colonization of the islands by the United States of America, thousands of Americans settled, either temporarily or permanently. Most were either members of the U.S. military, or missionaries sent by North American mission groups. After independence in 1946, many Americans chose to remain in the Philippines while maintaining relations with relatives in the United States. During the post-independence period, most Americans who settled in the Philippines were professionals, although missionaries still continue to settle in the country. In 2015, the U.S. State Department estimated that there were more than 220,000 U.S. citizens living in the Philippines. History Spanish-era immigration Insular and Commonwealth-era immigration American colonial rule in the Philippines saw an increase in immigration to the Philippines. Retiring soldiers and other military men were among the first Americans to become long-term Philippine residents and settlers. These included African American soldiers and former volunteer soldiers primarily from the western states. The Education Act of 1901 authorized the colonial government to recruit American teachers to help establish the new educational system, and 80 former soldiers became teachers. They were soon joined by 48 teachers recruited in America who arrived in June 1901 on the ship Sheridan, and by 523 others who arrived on August 1, 1901 on the Thomas. Collectively, these teachers became known as the Thomasites. Besides English, the Thomasites taught agriculture, reading, grammar, geography, mathematics, general courses, trade courses, housekeeping and household arts, sewing, crocheting and cooking, manual trading, mechanical drawing, freehand drawing and athletics, baseball, track and field, tennis, indoor baseball and basketball. Many of these people settled in the Philippines and had Philippine spouses. By 1913, there were more than 1,400 mestizos with American parentage, product of the about 8,000 Americans living in the Philippines. 15% of the children of Americans who settled in the Philippines were orphans. Prior to World War II, Americans were not prevalent in the Philippines, most living in enclaves, especially around Fort Santiago. One term used to describe those who settled in the Philippines was Manila Americans. By 1939, 8,709 Americans were in the Philippines, primarily in Manila, and of whom only 4,022 were working age and employed. The Japanese invasion of the Philippines brought about an abrupt end to the distinctions of race, due to the external threat caused by the invasion. Post-independence era immigration the 1940s was a period of large-scale American immigration to the Philippines. However, this was abruptly ended after the Philippines gained independence from the United States in 1946. Many Americans chose to permanently settle in the Philippines. The Americans, until the mid-1990s, had a heavy presence in the cities of Angeles and Olongapo, northeast of Metro Manila, due to the presence of large U.S. military bases there. During the American colonial period 1898 to 1946, a recorded number of more than 800,000 Americans were born in the Philippines. Large concentrations of Filipinos with American ancestry aside from Metro Manila are located in the areas of the former U.S. bases such as the Subic Bay Area in Zambales and Clark Field in Angeles. Amerasians as the Philippines lies in Southeast Asia, the offspring of a Filipino national and an American service member or contractor is termed an Amerasian. These individuals were not covered under the American Homecoming Act. The number of American mestizos is thought to be between 200,000 and 250,000. Most speak English, Tagalog and or other Philippine languages. The majority are to be found in Angeles City, which has the largest proportion of Amerasians in the Philippines. An academic research paper presented in the U.S. in 2012 by an Angeles, Pampanga, Philippines Amerasian College Research Study Unit suggests that the number of military origin, biracial Filipino Amerasians probably lie between 200,000 and 250,000, and possibly substantially more. 
The paper, co-authored by Pete C. Katskara, Ph.D., visiting professor and director of the Philippine Amerasian Research Center at Systems Plus College Foundation, maintained that the number of Filipino Amerasians, the progeny of U.S. servicemen, private corporate contractor and government employees stationed over the years in the Philippines, is so significant that mixed heritage Anglo, African and Latino Amerasians qualify as a genuine human diaspora. It amplified on an earlier theme Dr. Katskara surfaced in his 2010 doctorate dissertation which focused on stigmatization, discrimination and psychosocial risk and mental disorder among a sample of African and anglo amerasians residing in Angeles, site of the Clark Air Force Base. The author asserts that the angeles manila Ilongapo Triangle, AMO, is believed to contain the highest concentration of biracial Anglo, African and Latino Amerasians on the globe. Population Today, the Philippines has a large population of Americans and people with American roots, including a significant Amerasian population. There are estimates of 52,000 to 250,000 Amerasians in the Philippines in 1992. These Americans have been joined by a number of Filipino Americans with U.S. citizenship who had immigrated to the United States, then returned to their country of birth. In addition, there is a population of Filipino Americans, who were born in the United States, who are immigrating to the Philippines, known as Balakted. The total number of U.S. citizens living in the Philippines is more than 220,000, with estimates reaching as high as 600,000. Education American international schools in the Philippines include International School Manila, formerly the American School. Notable people. See also Afro Asian, Eurasians, Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, Philippines United States Relations. Philippine Nationality Law References <references>